morning everyone and welcome to day 10 of my video blogs. Uh, the conference I was at is now over so I'll, uh, I'll be having some longer vlogs and some longer days now as I'll be able to do stuff during the day. Um, today is uh, the Jedi Matsu uh, festival um, which starts in about an hour so I'm just gonna go and uh, head over now to get some breakfast from uh, either a supermarket or a convenience store and then uh, start walking the uh, parade route towards uh, the uh, Kyoto Imperial Palace though I don't think I'll actually be able to get into the Paris area I have, I have a feeling it's going to be absolutely packed there already so I'll probably end up uh, hitching up somewhere on the uh, parade route because it goes right past where my Airbnb is Hey guys, so uh, there's a little while now until the uh, actual uh, festival starts I've uh, sat myself um, on a bollard uh, uh, on the side of the road uh, near where the festival is going to be uh, there is uh, seating sort of over that way where you can uh, pay to have a seat um, but I'm sort of sat on the edge here on a bollard uh, means I don't have to pay for a ticket to uh, have a seat over there and, and doing as many of the uh, locals are which is sitting uh, on the bollards alongside the uh, procession route uh, the only downside is there's a good hour and a half before um, the uh, parade's due to come through here, so I got some time to kill while I'm waiting. Okay, the procession's now ended. It took about uh, two hours for the whole thing to go past. Um, so I've been sitting there quite a while. I've gone through two out of my three batteries uh, for my camera. Um, so I'm gonna head back now towards my uh, Airbnb so that I can put some batteries on to charge uh, while I'm out at the uh, next stop for the day. 
uh, so that they'll be ready for this evening. Okay, so on my way back to the Airbnb now, but I came across a uh, stall because it's a bit like a festival, so I uh, found some, myself some uh, teriyaki. Uh, it's like a sweet thing. Um, I think I got one red bean and one uh, custard, which is going to be really nice. That one's red bean. Okay, I've dropped off my uh, batteries to charge at the uh, Airbnb now. I'm actually now heading to uh, Kyoto Zoo. I could have caught a bus there, but uh, it takes just as about the same amount of time to walk um, because you obviously have to wait around for the bus, so that adds some time. But also at the moment, Kyoto is rather gridlocked because of the festival, and especially because uh, Heian Shrine, what I saw earlier last week, uh, which is where the uh, festival ends, uh, or at least the parade ends, is uh, nearby to the uh, zoo as well. So it's uh, at the moment I'm actually beating the bus. Okay, now I'm at Kyoto Zoo, so let's go and have a look around. Okay, I've just finished at Kyoto Zoo. I'm now heading back to uh, my Airbnb so that I can uh, get my batteries and get ready to go out for this evening. Um, it's a very small zoo. I only got around it in about, took me about half an hour to go around. Um, I probably could have looked at some of the animals a little bit longer. A lot of them were being uh, put away because it's the, coming to the end of the day. Um, I do have to agree with some of the reviews that are on things like TripAdvisor for the zoo. It, it, it's a small zoo which isn't a problem uh, the, I think the problem with this zoo is that the exhibits uh, or the sort of pens that the animals are in are way too small when you compare them to standards of zoos around the world um, especially the lions and the tigers I think they kind of had it worse uh, they're very small I think your kind of family swimming pool size rooms rather than your uh, swimming pools that you get for public um, to think of the size of the room that they're kept in. But I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. I should point out the uh, when I came to Heian Shrine the other day, I uh, totally missed this massive Tori uh, gate, which uh, I think when I was at one of the temples early in the week, when I was on my break from the conference, I could actually see it from uh, quite a few miles away over in the distance. Uh, it, it's absolutely massive. Uh, I don't know how I missed it last time. I, I think because um, I went to Hay and Shrine from the road that runs parallel on the other side, so I never actually looked in this direction. Okay, I'm just leaving my Airbnb now to go to where I'm going this evening. It's gonna take me a little while to get there, probably 45 minutes to an hour uh, from the uh, local train station. I've got to change trains once or twice, um, but it shall be a Hopefully a great evening when I uh, get to where I'm going and you'll hopefully see that in a minute. Okay, that train was uh, absolutely packed but I'm at uh, Kurama now and I've come here for the uh, Kurama Fire Festival. It's a big uh, festival every year in Kurama. Okay guys, I'm uh, back at my Airbnb stop now, uh, I left uh, Kurama, it took a while to get home, uh, it was very packed and very crowded, 
Um, there was no signal to torches and things and uh, stuff, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit disappointing because we were heard around like cattle and when the uh, actual procession, the, the main kind of uh, thing happened, we were all herded, at least a good thousand or so of us were herded round into a back street um, on the way round and they just stopped us because the procession, uh, procession started, so we were standing in, on this back street for about an hour. Uh, hearing the thing but not being able to see anything and then directed straight back to the station to come back and stand in line and spend another hour standing up on the train so it was a little bit uh, not as fun as I hope it would be um, if you ever come to this uh, yourself uh, it only happens once a year I, I think I'd recommend you go during the day like earlier during the day to try and find somewhere like a bar or something that you can uh, get a seat in and uh, sit at and stay uh, because when you arrive the police are just they send you around in the loop and uh, that you kind of just go straight back to the station when you've seen it um, you don't really get to stand around and watch they don't like you standing there they just want you to keep on moving um, but yeah um, I got lots of plan tomorrow I need to uh, shower because I sm and uh, wash my clothes because I smell of smoke now from the uh, bonfires that were there um, so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow Oh! <laughs>